Hey, it's Delta Work, and it's time for another episode of Very Delta. We're falling into fall with RuPaul's Drag Race superstar Jujubee, but first, do you want to see me go off? Because I think you want to see me go off. M. Oh. M. Mom! Are you a lady like me? Introspective, beautiful. Oh, are you intellectual like me? Beguiled by a bargain? You like wild times? Oh, like me? Are you serving the community like me? Well, if you are, then you must be very Delta. Hi, I'm Delta Work, and this is Very Delta. Very Delta is a luxury public access podcast and YouTube talk show where I look gorgeous, speak extemporaneously, and invite exciting guests to sit on the couch and get Very Delta. Very Delta is for the woman who believes in the revitalizing power of ceramide-rich moisturizing cream. Today's show is fierce, but first, let's get into a few things that are Very Delta. Go off Delta! You know what I love? Rainy days. I love falling into autumn in such a way that I feel like I'm gonna start hibernating. And what I mean by that is not just sleeping and not just staying in, but really sort of covering up all the way around. I love the idea of layering clothing, putting on a sweater over a sweater, a scarf, being able to finally wear pants, not just shorts all the time. I love being able to sort of, even though I'm in Southern California, and like I say, I can go to, I can be in the snow, I can be in the desert, I can be anywhere within a couple of hours. Um, When it does happen to rain, I love sort of like hiding inside and luxuriating in that, making soup and uh, wrapping myself up in a blanket and saying to myself, these are the movies I'm gonna watch because uh, you know, I couldn't possibly go out in the rain. I don't wanna see that. I wanna uh, you know, put a blanket on and stand in the window and pretend like I'm in a music video and be wistful. And I want all the scents that go around. I wanna be able to smell the rain from outside but burn candles inside that are um, you know, remind, reminding me of pie and marshmallows and you know, I, I'm not I'm not someone who's going to go camping. I don't I don't I don't go camping uh, unless there's uh, an elevator, a gift shop. Like to me, like camping, there has to be something like that. I have to create all of this around myself because I don't really want to rough it. I don't want to drive in the rain, for God's sake. I don't want to have to go shovel snow, but I love the idea of it. And so when it does rain, you know, a quarter of an inch or whatever, I have to go buy a new jacket, new boots. The fall and the winter sort of hide uh, things for me in a way. I mean, maybe not a murder. I haven't committed a murder yet, but um, I have, uh, you know, you can hi- you can certainly hide 10 pounds or 100 pounds with a scarf. That helps. So that's kind of like a hibernation in a way. Um, you can have more warm drinks. You can have more warm drinks like throughout the day. I always think of having like a hot coffee or a hot tea or something in the morning before it starts to get warm. And then the rest of the day, it's like you got to have something cold to drink. But the rain is like, oh, I- I've got to have, I don't know. Apple cider, even though I don't normally drink apple cider, I want to go to the store to get the stuff to make the apple cider because that's when you're supposed to drink it. Oh, and the rainy day menu is my favorite because it's all about snacking. It's not about cooking a meal and sitting down because everything I eat, I'm going to want to eat while seated or laying sort of halfway under a blanket. So I need it all to be on a tray and it can be simple. It can be cheese and crackers, which is, I mean, who doesn't want cheese and crackers? It could be like an assortment of different nuts with that. I mean, I would say, you know, people call it a charcuterie board. But for me, it's just like a paper plate with a bunch of stuff that I forgot that I had in the cabinet. Like maybe it's a fistful of marshmallows. Maybe it is um, Chex Mix. Maybe it is just bread with some kind of spread on it. I always have these like great ideas of what I'm going to cook. You know, I'll go through TikTok and I'm like saving that. Oh, I'm definitely making that. This is going to for sure be on my table. And then like none of it happens. It ends up being like half a bag of Funyuns and a Diet Coke that needs ice. But I'm too lazy to go get ice. Um, So 
the food, it's never really a full meal. It could, though, one thing that does happen is that I will make a variety of soups. And for me, it, if I make it, it has to sit on the stove and just kind of be like scooped out throughout the day, mixed around, warmed back up, like chowders for sure. I love corn chowder. I love clam chowder. I love any kind of bean soup is my favorite, like a, a navy bean Um uh, I, I like chick. I, I want to like chicken noodle more, but I feel like oh, the effort that goes into chicken noodle isn't really very much. There's not much of a flavor profile. And people say like, oh, just add some green onions or this or that. So, well, is it just water with toppings? Like, I don't. Where's the soup? I want I want the soup. I want the guts. And a new thing that I've heard about is a butter board, which is kind of like next level charcuterie. It's in a way of sort of sharing with other people. So you could do like uh, like a garlic parsley butter or something and a specialty bread. And people just, you know, take a little bit and, and put it on bread. Some people do cream cheese boards. I might be more into a cream cheese board than uh, than a butter board just because I feel like the butter board might get a little a little runnier than the cream cheese board. And I feel like to, oh, I don't know, for personal use, I might just have like a quarter of a block and then spread that out. Because I'm not gonna, I don't wanna share this board particularly with anyone. I want, I want the board for myself. I don't want other people putting their fucking fingers and stuff in there. Like I want my own, like we should do individual boards. That way everybody can have what they want. I know that they're meant to be shared, but I think if everyone has like their own knife, I feel like a butter board or a um, a cream cheese board, I feel like they're safe enough, but they also can't sit around for very long. Cause I was just talking about keeping soup on a stove and like, you know, eating out of it all day. So taking a ladle and putting it in and getting some sort of little bread and moving along. But you know, if that soup set, sits out for very long, I mean, that's kind of gross too, in a way. It should be refrigerated, but you know, if it's just me or one other person. When you see a board with butter on it or cream cheese, um, some people may be disgusted, but other people are just thinking about luxuriating in butter and enjoying butter. You know what I heard about? I heard about um, walk away bacon someone was talking about. And it was where you go to a restaurant and they serve you your food, but then they also will serve you two to three pieces of bacon that you, I don't know if you get charged for this. I would perfectly take the charge for it, but maybe it's just an appetizer. But basically what it is is here you go, take your food home and here's this to eat in the car, a couple of pieces of bacon. Doesn't that sound great? So if you walk up into someone's house and there's like a board with butter on it, I mean, you have to do, you do have to be a little bit concerned about whose house because you can't eat at everybody's house. You really can't eat at everybody's house because some people let their cat's ass sit up on a table and, uh, and, and I let my cats sit all over the place, but you know, my, my home is a working home, so I don't actually have a dining room table dedicated for eating. Maybe that's why I want to lay on the couch and eat while it's raining. That could be part of it. But the reality, regardless of that, um, you know, people, some people don't wash their dishes. Some people have fucking bugs everywhere. So whether or not you're going to be eating off a butter board or off their dish, I mean, you can't eat at everyone's house. That's why, you know, part of staying in when it's raining is the idea that these are just my things. These are like, this is for my tribe. This is for my group of people. Um, when it's some, when it's spring and summer and you're constantly going out, you're constantly around people that are having picnics and barbecues and you're sharing and you're seeing hands touch inside of things and kids get out of the swimming pool and, and put their hands and go, oh, what's this? And it's like, oh, I, I'm not going to have any of that, am I? Because you just put your hand in a shitty diaper, you know? Uh, so the, the, the prospect of rain also offers some security. I love to order in, but I never really think too much about ordering in when it's raining because I do feel bad for delivery people, although they probably don't mind because they figure, you know, the, mo the more work, the better. But um, I do feel a little bit bad because in, my, in front of my apartment, there's always this like sloped area where the water fills up. And then I feel like, oh, where are people going to park? And they're going to have to get out. When I know a rainstorm is coming, that's definitely when I like do grocery shopping and I buy things that maybe I wouldn't always buy like specialty cheeses. Cause I think like, Oh, this is going to be special. I'm going to have like these kinds of crackers. And, uh, you know, I remember 
years ago, we did a Pride in November, which November, obviously, you would think it would be freezing cold, but it was in Palm Springs and it was boiling hot and detox uh, and myself and our friend Jules all went shopping for snacks. And Detox was like, we need this fig preserve. We need this cream cheese. Maybe this was the beginning of a cream cheese board, sort of. But she did this whole spread. And I remember thinking, like, the next time I'm holed up at home because of rain or I'm sick or something, I have to buy this. I have to make this. It, remi- it was just like a comfort thing because I remember her making it. She was so proud of it. And, um, I mean, she wasn't bragging, but I could tell that she knew we were going to enjoy it. And I carried that with me. And now, like, I always think, like, I've got to go get those pre- the, pre- the fig preserves, the honey, the nuts, the cheese, and make the whole thing. I mean, that's just something I think about doing. The detox board, uh, just this one specific, she didn't do a whole board. She just did this specific thing. And it was a goat cheese. And then she did a fig preserve. And then she did a sprinkling of nuts. I can't remember if she did pecans. Uh, but it was a, it was mild. Um, and then a drizzle of honey all over it. And then we had these l- beautiful, small, like pieces of bread. It was so good that we didn't even want to tell anyone around that it was there because we knew that they would clue into it. So we would just like grab like a, like a box of, uh, what are those tubes of Pringles or whatever. And we're like, oh, have this, have this to sort of fend them off from having like the good shit. You know what I mean? I would love to say that I'm like a sommelier or I I know uh, what drinks and stuff go best with these kinds of dishes. But honestly, I'm telling you right now, a Diet Coke, as cold as you can get it, cuts through the richness of all of this. I can't, I don't know things that are too rich. I know people that are like, oh, that cheese, I can only have a little bit. Or, oh, I can only have half a slice of cheesecake. I don't have a gauge. I don't have a gauge. Nothing is too rich. Nothing is too, well, no, there, I did have a, a grilled cheese sandwich today, as a matter of fact, that was too rich. Who puts blue cheese, uh, blue cheese, avocado, and then three kinds of sliced, like hard cheese in a sandwich and then doesn't toast it or grill it, just melts it and then calls it a grilled cheese sandwich. Like I just, I like, I just want plain, like the less ingredients I feel like the better, good butter or I'm fine with margarine too. Butter, margarine, doesn't matter. The bread, you know, you can blow smoke up the the bread ass of somebody that really loves it. I, I'll take Wonder Bread if that's what there is. I'll take a slice of cheddar cheese and just make a grilled cheese sandwich. Like the simpler, the better. Yes, you can elevate it. But, you know, I did have a Diet Coke, so it cut through it. I ate half the sandwich. I threw the rest away. It's fine. Um, but as far as these boards, these butter boards, just have a Diet Coke. I'm telling you, a Coke won't do the same thing. A Diet Coke, it's just there's more chemicals in it. There's more, there's more dangerous chemicals in it to really cut through that the way you need it to. And then, you know, once it goes down through you, once you ingest and then digest, you know, it'll, uh, it it will linger around a little bit for sure, but you gotta, and they say too, if you stand up when you're eating stuff, you don't gain any weight. You just stand up. I've tried it. I don't know how well it's working, but you could, you stand up and you eat food and it just drops through you. It has no, it won't, it won't move. I bet you didn't know that. You know what's very Delta? Voting. Get your ass out there tomorrow and vote. It's the most important thing you can do all year long. You have to make your voice heard. I don't want to hear anyone complaining about what should be done or what should be said or who should do what. You have just as much right as anyone else to get out there and exercise your right to vote. It's the most important thing you can do. You know what's not very Delta? Not very Delta is not voting saying it doesn't really matter. Oh, I, I'm, I'm going to vote for a part. Don't waste your vote. Seriously, it makes such a fucking difference. It is so important right now more than ever. After everything we've been through, especially this past couple of years, after all the people that have shown their true colors and pulled their capes off and pulled their hoods off and showed everyone who they really are and they don't give a shit about you, make sure they are not in power. It's your decision. It's your responsibility. It's my responsibility. It's our all of our responsibilities. It's all of our responsibilities to make this happen right now, today, tomorrow. Make it happen. And we are back. I'm so excited to have my extra special guest here who made time to be here. She's traveling the world. She's going everywhere. She's from RuPaul's Drag Race Under the Sea, RuPaul's Drag Race Pirates of the Caribbean, RuPaul's Drag Race 
outer space intergalactic next superstar the one and only jujubee is here i hate, I hate you <laughs> those are some of the shows you're on yeah <laughs> some of them not all of them just a handful <laughs> just a handful why not you're a busy person you've always been busy though I'm a busy bee <gasps> oh are you busy bee or are you a jolly bee both. Jolly Bee is my favorite uh, I know, I chicken love it. place. Happy November. It is November. And I know that you are wearing your power color for November because, you know, it's uh, this is voting season. I, I, as soon as I put this outfit on back there, uh -huh. I looked in that giant mirror and it really looks like I'm on the campaign trail. And you should be. I, you know, and I don't know what I would fight for. Maybe it, maybe it could be if you see something, say something hat day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what your platform is going to be, you are in fact in platforms. You're it's, wearing a platform today. It's, it's an inch off the ground. That's still a platform, <laughs> right? And my toes are done if you want to not really zoom in, but see them. You're always done. You're always put together. Yeah. 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 You like that. You like yeah. that. You are a quintessential female impersonator, which is what I love. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think you are. No. You don't think you are? No. Okay. Every what time, are you? Every time I hear a female impersonator, I think of Chanel. Because, you know, Chanel describes herself. I think I'm just a drag queen. You do? Yeah. I don't. I think I'm a female impersonator as well. <laughs> Chanel's my sister, you see. You're right. <laughs> I think you're a female impersonator. Um, what female walks around looking like this? The right ones. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. The right ones. Um, <laughs> listen, I uh, we were talking uh, on the phone about the fact that it is, it is fall. Oh, or yes. autumn. I don't know if you say autumn or uh, fall. Uh, I, I like I like the word autumn because it brings me back to childhood. Because there was this song okay. that Britney Spears sang on her B side of "Baby One More Time," and it was called "Autumn Goodbye." It was about summer love, and it was. It's the most amazing Britney Spears song. Can Autumn. you give us a, a verse? Or Hell like, no. Come on. But just you like could one. check it out online somewhere. You can do like a little bit. No. You, can you at least recite something from it? Like a, a, a word, a phrase? Ah, oh, shit. Like, Autumn goodbye. It, it, it just, it honestly just went, Autumn goodbye, Autumn goodbye. It I remember just, that. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Well, it is Autumn. Um, and we were talking about some of our favorite things. Mm -hmm. Do you like to have like a, a latte every once in a while? An oat milk latte. Oat milk latte. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we have an almond milk uh, non-latte for you. <laughs> um, and I'm going to make them here in the Keurig. Is this a sponsorship right here? Uh, I don't know that it is, but I know that we can we can make one. Oh, do you hear it? This is new technology. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what you do is we're going to open it here. Now, would you like to have maple vanilla, which is kind of next level, or would you like to start with a pumpkin spice? It's up to you. Well, I feel like that's a really leading way to ask me. Now, I really want the maple vanilla because no, of the way it. that you said it. Yeah. Did you say it this well, way? Well, because you're not regular. Well, I'm not regular, but did you say it that way because you want the pumpkin spice? Are you manipulating me? Because I feel like that's very Delta. It is. Isn't it? I want the pumpkin spice. You do want the pumpkin okay. spice. You bitch. Okay. So, but I'm going to make yours first. Yes, maple go ahead. vanilla. Go ahead. So let's put it in here. I... Okay, and then do you, would you rather have a race chaser mug? I already hate you. <laughs> or would you rather have a hot goss mug? Oh, let's do the race chaser one. Okay. Yeah. We'll set that in there, and we'll. I like them. Click on mug. It's a good picture of Willem right there. Yeah. Yeah, she's wearing bangs. Do you hear that? How that works? <laughs> do you have one of these? I do not. Oh, we'll have the show send you one. Yeah, please yeah. do. We we should have the show send you one. There it goes. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> now, how do you like yours prepared? Do you like a creamer? Do you, Oh, you said oat milk. Yeah. I, yeah. But I'll have some of this. What is that? Well, this is going to change the profile well, a little Irish bit. Irish cream. Oh, no. Here's a regular half and half. Would you have that? Oh, uh, I don't know about that. I got to go to a dairy free. It's dairy free. Is it? Yeah. See, it says dairy pure. Are you lactose intolerant? No, I don't think so. I don't know, but I've shit myself a lot of places before, <laughs> and you know this, so it, I could be. I've only done it three times in my life, and trust me. <laughs> Would you like stevia in the raw? Let's. Yes, I love it. I okay, love, love so it do you want me to prepare this for you? No, let me. Uh, let's. Why okay. don't we help each other? Why don't I make yours? <laughs> okay, you tell me. Um, okay, I'm gonna do the pumpkin spice. So I'm gonna take this. Oh, it does smell very good. 
I can smell it. Probably, I don't think we can reuse these. I mean, it hasn't stopped me before. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. Pumpkin spice goes in there. Is this mine right here? Yeah, that's yours. Is one plenty? I think I need like three. I think so, too. Do you ever talk to people, Delta, and they auto they automatically ask, do you like me? <laughs> like, is there is there ever a way? No, I don't think so. But I know that there's people that think that I'm upset yes. a lot. And I'm not. Do you think and that? And I love it. Do you think, do I look upset to you? Not at all. <laughs> Maybe. Is it because I've been arching my brows more lately? Yes, it'll so this be. past couple of years, I've given myself a brow lift. <laughs> And it makes me look a little judgmental. Speaking of Chanel, because you know Chanel always has sort of a judgmental. There's one more judgmental. Oh, I I love love her makeup. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do Splenda in mine, and I'm gonna do two. Oh. Um, and since um you decided to hog all the milk, um, no, I'm kidding. You didn't hog any milk. You really you don't want any. Don't want any what? Any kind of creamer in your drink? I feel like this has like. Girl, this literally says milk and cream. Yeah, I know. And you lied. It's pure. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna wait. Take... Let me just taste this first. All right, go ahead. You are you? Do you want to do this together? Should we do a, a cheers? Oh yeah, let's do a cheers. So let me put this in oh, here. Oh, I'm left-handed. Oh, it's a left-handed mug. Look. And I'm gonna put this creamer in here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. Well, you know what's happened. <laughs> I think somebody used this already. No, I. There it goes. It just tinkles in there. Is that the right consistency? I don't think I don't think it's supposed to be chunky, but I tell you what, I'm gonna drink it anyway. Oh my gosh. Um, it's not really mixed. Hold on, hold on. I've talked about this before. I use my makeup brushes sometimes when I don't have anything, and I can just use my lip brush. Uh. You know, I'm really glad that you're doing it in yours first so that I get a little bit of that pumpkin spice. Do you want me to stir yours as well? Yeah. Okay. There. Hmm. Okay. So let's try this. I'm not vaccinated for monkeypox yet, by the way. I'm not vaccinated for anything. (laughs) Really? It's really fucking good. Which one is it? This is maple vanilla. I thought I got the maple vanilla. Oh, you did? Oh. Oh, you know why? Because I think the creamer was an Irish cream creamer. (laughs) She's fucking fucking with me. (laughs) Wait, is that yours? Mine doesn't taste like pumpkin spice, I don't think. What does yours taste like? Maple vanilla. It is quite rich. I wonder if I... I don't taste pumpkin in mine, but it's very good. I taste maple and you stevia. Do? Mine just like tastes like packets. coffee. Mine just tastes like coffee, but it's really good. It is really good. Um, I have a question for you. I might have an answer. Um, I have this little little spot in the show that I like to call Yaz Gord. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Like Yaz Gord. <laughs> Which one of these is your favorite gourd? Yes, gourd? Oh, it's yes, gourd? Yes, gourd, not yes, uh, God. Oh. I can't steal. Which one of these? Of these gourds. I think I like this one. That one? Yeah. Take it out. You can touch it. I like this one. Why would that be your favorite, do you think? It reminds me of my uncle. It does. I'm fucking with you. I just like it because there's a little Well, it reminded me of your uncle, too. <laughs> You know, There's, it's like a, the, I, I like the texture. Uh-huh. There's an array of colors on this. Mm-hmm. It's um, mysterious. You know, they call that a knucklehead. What? What? That that style or breed? Maybe not the breed. I don't know all the information, but I saw a thing where they call them knuckleheads, the ones that look like that. Maybe the round ones are are they look syphilitic to me? Don't they look like syphilitic? Like Civil War penises or something? You know, speaking of syphilis, Uh I did a report in fourth grade about syphilis. In the fourth grade, you were learning about Uh, sexually transmitted diseases. Was it the fifth grade? It was when we were... it's when we had the birds and the bees. Well, whether class. it was fourth or fifth grade, you were talking about sexually transmitted diseases, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was the first time I ever used Google. So I Googled syphilis in the wait school a library. Wait, wait, wait. How old are you? 38. 
Was it Google? It must have been. No, AOL. Okay, I could see having Am that. Am I aging but... myself? I thought, well, listen, I, just I wasn't trying to be this. fucked up, but we were hanging out earlier and you were talking about how we're old now. And we then are. I realized that um, I still am like 10 years older than you. So you're not really old yet. Well, if I'm old. <laughs> then I'm ancient, you fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah, I feel old, bitch. You don't. I'm wearing a fucking two piece here. I'm uh, like, I'm not even wearing like dresses anymore or leotards. It's casual separates. I like that. But you are no. That's what I'm saying. You're known for female impersonation. You wear you shop at the mall. N- well, but you know what it is. Not everybody can pull off a simple, sophisticated look. Well, thank you. Can they? No. I'm wearing a smart sweater today. You're wearing. I mean, why not? I'm wearing ankle pants. You know what some people do? They wear all that just to hide themselves. Yeah. They don't need to. We reveal. We reveal Who ourselves we are. to people. Yes. Are you really enjoying that drink? Is it okay? I like it. You do? I do. You know, we've never had... Well, Alaska was here and we had iced tea, but you're here and we've actually made the beverage here together. Should I do that more often with people? I feel like there should be, I don't know, like a cocktail and mocktail segment. But maybe we should just save that for my show. Right, we should. So don't take that. We should. What, uh, if you were to go to Starbucks and just order a drink in general? Uh, uh, An iced venti... Oat milk latte with two shots of the, I say the vanilla, because I think it's very Massachusetts of me. Right, the vanilla. The vanilla. Yeah. yeah. What, uh, what is it about oat milk that's so special? You've mentioned that twice. I just love oat milk. I just you like do. the idea that you can take oats and puree the shit out of it and then strain it through cheesecloth and drink its milk. Is it? Uh, is it? Is there a different texture to it, would you say? It's less cloudy. Less cloudy. Yeah. Okay. It feels more opaque. Mmm. Mm. Do you bake with oat milk? I don't bake. Oh, you don't bake? Uh-uh. Not even when you do your makeup? You don't let it just sit and bake for a while and go out? No. No? What about, do you ever, like, do you ever, like, get baked? Sometimes. Yeah. So there yeah. is, ba- you are Sometimes. a baker in a way. Yeah. Yeah. You can never hide from it. <laughs> you can never run from it. Whether you're putting your makeup on or eating or imbibing. I bake chicken. How do you do your chicken? So you want to start the oven at like 450 for about 15 minutes. Why are we talking so like? Because we don't want everyone to know. <laughs> and then, in, you know, in the in the heat up time, you want to season your chicken with lots of seasoning. You know what I was just thinking about? Salt. So I was thinking about salt, but there was something else I was thinking about. Wow. Um, you were saying how... Um, you like to say the vanilla. Because the vanilla. Like, right? There's just certain sophisticated things. I was one time watching this show about like fine living or whatever. Uh-huh. And it was like maybe in the late 90s, early 2000s. And I don't think this is really a rule. But uh-huh. I saw this lady talking about that she, when she drinks her wine or her champagne, she doesn't like to leave a lipstick mark. So she literally went like this. And she like <laughs> licked it and then drink, drank out of it. Let's and try that it. That seems like kind of ugly. I mean, okay. No lipstick. But that's kind of gross to do in front of people, isn't it? It's suggestive. I think it is. I think it's a little slutty. But you know what? It's 2022. Yeah. Go be a fucking slut. Who's going to judge you? Not me. Not me. <laughs> Not, me. <laughs> Not me. Let's take a break. We're back. We're back with my extra special guest, the luxurious, the lovely, the uh, enjoying coffee. I love coffee. Love coffee. The one and only Jujube is here. The one. Uh, I'm sure there's a few more Jujubes, but this is, is the only this version of. Do Jujube. you eat Jujube candy? Have you ever had that? I have had it, and ah, uh, I don't know if I've ever had it like fresh. Oh, because it's always like mm. it kind of. It's like chewy. So I think it's supposed to be like that. Well, like it's supposed to be unenjoyable. That's the way it tastes. Well, yeah, unenjoyable. Yeah, I always feel bad for the guests because the guests like are fully in, like fully done up, even yeah. if they're not in drag. They're still being seen. So if it's like somebody that doesn't yeah. do drag, they're still being seen. But I get to sit here, and this is like my RuPaul opportunity because what are you wearing? My cargo shorts. I hate you. Yeah, so much. and like my tennis shoes. 
Oh my right? gosh. You only have to like dress from here up. The problem is if you catch too much side, people are like, oh, bitch, yeah. I can see it. That's pandemic drag. When was the last time you were put on hold? I was thinking about that. Oh, it was uh, two weeks ago when I was calling the uh, electricity company. Okay. And then there was some sort of power outage everywhere else in Massachusetts. So I was on hold for like 30 minutes. No. Yeah. Have you ever been on hold and then you're like, you kind of leave and, you, and it hangs up and you're uh -huh. like, I've been on hold for like so long. Hours. Yes. Yeah. What the fuck? How come they can't call us back? I think they can now. But it's like, mm. Mm -hmm. it's not that deep to them. I want it now. And it sometimes it happens consistently. Uh huh. Uh huh. I think they just don't want to deal with us. Well, I mean, I wouldn't want to deal with me either, to be really honest. But they don't know who you are. Well, I guess not. Do you say woman or woman? Woman. Oh, woman. Yeah, you say woman? Well, I think if you're serious about it, you say Woman. Do you say human or human? I say human, but I'm very concerned about people who say human. <laughs> what do you say human? No. I feel like that's very Dorothy Zbornak. <laughs> I don't know who that is. If, you know who that is. Tell the Golden me. Girls. Oh. Right. <gasps> human. I'm a very bad gay now. No. Mm. You're not. It's fine. What kind of gay what kind of gay thing traditionally gay things do you like besides being fucked? Like other than that? What, um, well, I don't like being fucked. Well, or fucking someone besides that. What are like, do you love sex in the city? Do you love charcuterie boards? I do love char charcuterie boards. What do you put on yours? Oh, nuts and dried fruit, and there's a hair on my lip. Well, what specifically? Like what, almonds which kind of and nuts? walnuts, and um, I don't like the Brazil nuts because mm -hmm. I don't really, or, or is it the Bra is it the Brazil nut that I don't like, or is it the macadamia? Which one's which? Well, I think macadamia nuts uh, somehow in my mind have the most fat in them. That's why people who like are keto people, I think they eat those. Oh, well, they can keep them. Okay. Because you know, like I don't those. really like those. Or those Brazil nuts. Those don't taste Do like Do you like fla the ones that have like their own flavoring on them, like seasonings? No. Natural. Yeah, I'm like a natural nut kind of girl. Uh-huh. Yeah. I like natural nuts. Okay. Um, and then the cheeses. I do like me a blue cheese. Okay. But not like a crazy, like stinky one. Um, I'm down for a brie. Okay. I live for a brie. A sharp cheddar is always nice. A little pate. What about a white cheddar? White cheddar is nice too. When you're on an airplane, do you like to buy the cheese platter that comes down through the... Oh, no. You don't like that? No, because it's not... This, it's not... It's just like this plastic wrapped cheese. But it's some. You know why I never buy it? <laughs> why? Because I'm in fucking first class, and you don't fucking buy your food in first class. Well, I mean, I wanted to say that, but I didn't want to sound like an asshole. Delta. We're luxurious. We're supposed to tell people. I mean, we're very diamond. Aren't Hello. We? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but okay, so you don't buy the cheese, but you do like cheese. But you're not going to buy plastic wrapped cheese on the airplane. No, but I am also lactose intolerant, so I only do my cheese eating and ice cream eating when I'm at home very comfortably. So have you ever, but on the airplane, if you don't buy the cheese or eat the cheese, have you ever cut the cheese on the airplane? Absolutely. Yeah. My name is Airline. Do you blame other people for it? Or no. like kind of look around like, oh, was that terrible? What was that? No, I, I just put it. on my mask and I let everybody else suffer, honey. You do. Mm -hmm. You let everybody else. Mm -hmm. Have you ever pooped in a plane? I have. I have too. I have. Yeah. What was the flight too? I don't remember where it was too, but I, rem I it remember. It was like that... LA to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. No, but I remember um, having turbulence when it was happening. Turbulence. Have you had turbulence? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you try not to, but it does happen. It has to happen. Hey, when it has to happen, it has to mm -hmm. happen. And what a magical feeling to do it in the sky. 40,000 feet right up there. Do you wipe down the counter after you wash your hands in the airplane or are you like, fuck it? I do. I wipe it down too. I do. But I also like, you also like to wash your hands like this because the sink is like this tiny for whose hands. Right. I don't know. But you know, it's very this. I always get weirded out when I see that the ground in the lavatory is wet in some way. It's pee. It's it is it's pee. not from the sink. It's, it's my not from, It's probably my pee. like that. No one's like air drying their That's hands. It's not their fault. It's turbulence. It's turbulence. Turbulence. <laughs> it happens. What is your beverage on the airplane? Do you like orange juice? Coke Zero. Coke Zero. Wait a minute. What? Or Pepsi. Yeah. She just Cola. said Coke Zero. Yeah, you don't like Coke Zero? 
Why do you drink Coke Zero? Tell me. I don't know. Tell me. It tell me about good. Coke Zero. It tastes good. I think it tastes good. Um, are I you? I also like Pepsi Max. Wait a minute. I think you might be like, you might be my my actual foe, not my friend. Why you don't like? Coke Well, Zero? because I don't particularly like Coke Zero. But Pepsi, tell me, wait. But tell me why you don't like Coke Zero? Because I don't like that it almost tastes like Coke. Okay. Which is what it's supposed to do. Right. I like the flavor of Diet Coke. Okay, then they still make that. They do still make that, but the fact that you like, and you also will drink Pepsi. I'll drink Diet Coke as well. But you said Coke Zero and Pepsi Max? Pepsi Max is really The fuck is Pepsi Max? It's just... What is it? Like Pepsi, Pepsi like to the max? Like Yeah. It's, it's like extra Pepsi? I... Uh, I think so. I don't think it's as fizzy as Coke Zero Mm -hmm. has that bite, you know, like uh, like the sprites from McDonald's. Oh, that now see now that we're talking about because that that almost burns Mm -hmm. it so good. It's like sandpaper down my throat. Oh, it's uh, you go like this. You take a sip and you go. uh, (laughs) (laughs) It feels good. Now, do you like cheeseburgers? I love cheeseburgers. Have you had every fall they bring out the pub burger? No. Hamburger patty, or uh-huh. you can get it with a chicken patty. Oh, crispy. You can get crispy, grilled, or you can get spicy, crispy. Okay. You can get spicy, <laughs> grilled, or home style. <laughs> There's grilled, uh, crispy onions, mm. like onion straws. Okay. There's um, Munster cheese. There's bacon. That's too much. Wait, and then there's a beer cheese sauce inside of it. Oh. On a pretzel bun. No, thanks. No, thanks. Not for me. No, thanks. Why? I, you know, you, I, it's, I don't love pretzels and beer cheese sauce makes me kind of gag a little bit. I do like cheese sauce. I don't know what it is, but let's take a break. We'll be right back. We're back. We are back with my extra special guest, Jujubee. We're having coffee. We're talking about chowder, um, cheese on an airplane, Mm -hmm. um, a few other things. But what we really need to do, because we are elder femmes, (laughs) aged and wise, um, how about we read some letters? Read me Delta. Let's read them. Let's read. Elder Femmes. Elder Femmes. That's what me and Raja call one another. I hate you. You don't like it? I love it. I love being an Elder Femme. Okay. First letter. Who writes these letters? People, if they want to write a letter to us, they can write a letter to readmedelta at gmail.com. If you want to write a letter to readmedelta at gmail.com. And then sometimes they're funny. Sometimes they're silly. Sometimes they're serious. It just depends. Do you read all of them? Um, no, I read the ones that are, that are brought to me that make it to the top oh, of good, the, good, good. yeah, so, uh, I'm excited. Um, hi Delta and Jujubee. I'm quite literally obsessed with the podcast and need you to read me, bitch. My ex who broke up with me for a mutual friend recently became single and I'm holding everything back to keep myself from asking him to hook up again after this breakup. Mind you, this man did me dirty, broke up with me to be with someone who was a friend of ours, and we all worked together. Do I stay strong and not reach out for a hookup, or do I run back and get my fucking cookies? Please advise me, mothers. Love you endlessly, thirsty-ass bitch. Wow. Uh, signed, stupid, dumb, thirsty-ass bitch. Let him know. Dumbass re- bitch. They want to be read. I don't even know why you asked me this question, you dumb bitch, because the answer was right. Re- Is this real? This is a real letter. This is where someone, this is someone's predicament. Ugh. Well, I'm not showing up at that fucking store. What do you think? You think they should not go? No. No. uh, I mean, that was, that was a very dramatic story. Her boyfriend is with somebody who was a friend, right? Mm -hmm. And they broke up and now she wants to sleep with the the ex-boyfriend? For what? For what? Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. I think so. I'm with you. Well, I'm sort of with you. I mean, I feel like you're a horny fucking bitch, and yeah. you would sleep with the ex, yeah, just to show him what he's missing. Well, here's the thing: you obviously there's still some sort of connection, mm-hmm. or you wouldn't feel bad because mm-hmm. if you really didn't feel like if you didn't give a fuck and mm-hmm. you were like, no, I just want to have sex, you wouldn't have written the letter. You would have just done it, yeah, and been like, oh, I don't give a fuck. I'm just trying to net, like I don't care, yeah. But 
because you're writing the letter, I think you have some trepidation. Mm. If you do have trepidation, it's because you know your feelings and your heart are involved. Don't go back. Don't go back mm. because that's their, they know that you want that and mm. they're going to try to fuck with you. If you were just like, like you know, hard-hearted Hannah, the vamp of Savannah, and you just wanted to just like what go. That? That's the person that will just fucking let everybody have it. Like, I'm just going to go have sex with whoever. Oh. So if you want to do that, you would have just done it. But I yeah. think there's something in your heart that says, I'm going to get fucked over again. I'm going to get fucked over don't do it, baby. Don't. I think she just want. Oh, she just she just wanted her two uh, auntie drag queens to scream at her. Yeah, sometimes you need that. Sometimes you need somebody to to just kind of you know let you know. Mm. But I think you know already. You're better than that. Like you, mm -hmm. There's there's all these dicks out here. There's all these dicks. And if that's all you want is sex, trust me, whoever that was. There's definitely somebody better out there. You're probably gorgeous, fierce, awesome, beautiful. You can get all these dicks hard. You don't need to just keep going to that same ass one that just wants to fuck with you. And then they cheated on Girl, bye. Girl, bye. No, you're better than all that. Let's do another one. What are you laughing at? Don't you think there's all these dicks out here? I, I agree. You're an elder femme. There are two you've dicks had, right here. You've baby. had your share. You've had your share. Oh, you know, what's my share? Like a my lion's share. share. That's how much you've had. Oh my gosh, I am. I'm actually uh, very. I'm innocent. I'm very innocent. I'm a female impersonator. <laughs> I'm very innocent. <laughs> Why is the accent always like that? Hey guys. I'm you know, I think that's like the. It's like when drag queens get to that part of their day and they just want to have. The sluttiest night. That's the voice we use. That's it's the like voice. Very, uh huh. Very high, Scaffy. Hey guys. Ew. <laughs> hey guys, listen to Very Delta. Well, why is it through the nose though? Is like what I'm trying to understand. I, don't. I have it. I have a cold. Someone sent this letter in this package. And there's suspicious white powder in it. I bet. yeah. You know what? Where I... is it from? I'm not sure it that was that's in a how box. you should be using a letter opener. Well, it's not really a regular letter. And then there's bubble wrap in it. Like, Thank God these are my real nails or I would be really worried. <laughs> these are my real nails. Okay. <laughs> New letter. Hello, Delta and Jujube. I'm a 22-year-old gay who grew up in a rather large Italian Catholic family. Oh. To be blunt, my parents and a lot of my extended family are cunts. <gasps> they're the homophobic word. and they're transphobic. Oh. They're conservative mm. and just plain dumb most of the time. Oh. I'm being dragged to a wedding in the coming months where I'm sure to be bombarded with comments about my recent significant weight gain, why I don't have a girlfriend yet, oh. intrusive health questions, etc. Oh. To be quite honest, I don't know if I can handle it. Don't go. Do you have any tips for dealing with people and comments like this? I'd love to hear some insight from you as you seem much more self-aware and confident than I am right now. Wishing you so much love, self-conscious in Seattle. We know the answer to this. Yeah. You just said it. Don't go. Don't go. I it, it's I'm tired of it. It's the only honestly, like if 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 this is real life, if you're only going to make other people happy and you're going to be miserable, I get I get like going to a movie with like your boyfriend and you don't want to see the movie. Like sure. I get that kind of shit. Or like going to uh, you know, Universal Studios <laughs> last week and having to stand fifty five minutes in line to ride that. Stop ride it. For, like, Stop it. I'm not speaking could, from experience, could, but it's very true. I'm very impatient, but I get that. But like going to something like this where it's like so emotional and you know what's going to happen and all these people are going to basically talk shit about you to your face because mm -hmm. you're the odd one out. Right. Don't go. Yeah. I got to say something. I've had this experience, this exact experience that you're talking about. I have um, lived this weird feeling of responsibility because mm. you're gr you grow up in a big family and you think like, oh, it's just easier. I get it. But you really have to pick and choose your battles here. Mm. If you're going to get something out of being there or there are a few people that you do want to see, I understand mm -hmm. wanting to go and be around those people. But if by and large you're going to go somewhere where you're made to feel uncomfortable, humiliated, degraded, questioned, singled out more than anyone else, 
baby, fuck off. You don't owe it to any, you really don't owe your happiness to be sacrificed for someone else. You just don't. I mean, and we've done this before professionally, personally, romantically. Mm. There's going to be a point where it's going to do so much damage to you that you're going to take it out on other people. Right. In other ways, in substances, in, uh, in, in other crutches, in other actual crutches, you're going to use them. And we all have those, cr- we really do. We all have those defaults that we think, oh, this will just fix it. It's not. And you already, you know that you don't want to feel that way. You cannot, you can't go. I'm telling you right now, Juju's telling you right now, you don't can't go. go. You're going to get more, you're going to get more hurt. And even if it takes, if it becomes a fight with your mom or a fight with your aunt or whatever saying, why didn't you go? Why did you go? I don't owe you. You get to live your life. I get to live my life. You're making me feel bad. Yeah. You guys are used to, some people are used to feeling bad. Some family members, that's the cycle in a lot of families uh-huh. is just doing that. And they, some people get, just glean joy from that, watching you suffer. I can't Why? wait. I can't wait to see this rant. <laughs> Isn't it true, though? I can't wait to see this. <laughs> but don't you feel that way? I mean, I think you do feel that way. I do. Way. When people make you feel like that, it's horrible. Oh, I, I also feel like, I feel like, I'm sorry, my ear, my clip on hoops are sliding down. Uh-oh. Because they're so heavy. They are so heavy. Ugh. They're pure gold. Pure gold. Um, <laughs> For five bucks. But um, I think that... When you don't feel like you're being valued somewhere, mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. you should leave. Yes. No, for real. And I, you know, because like, just because you're not valued in this space doesn't mean you don't have any value. Right. Right. And I, this obviously seems like a situation where it's a repetition of something else that's happened before because they already know what's going to happen. Or on the other hand, it could be subconscious in Seattle's just or self-conscious in Seattle's uh default way like like right. we were talking about earlier it could maybe maybe this is just not the truth it could be what they think is going to happen maybe it won't happen i mean it could be and it and also could be that uh you know you were said you were raised in like a you know catholic family i was mm-hmm. raised in a catholic family as well and there is a bit of duty that comes in that and the, the feeling of well i need to go because my my mom expects it or my my mm-hmm, uncle or mm-hmm. there are people that I love but then there's other people I mean I'm just at the point you know at my age I don't know how old you are but you should try to get to this point as young as you can at that point of knowing when to hold and when to fold and knowing when there's Ooh. conversations that happen and you literally have to say to people you know what I don't really know much about that but I'll think about that and then you just kind of walk away because there's people in your family you're not going to change your opinion yeah. You're just not going to. And you just say, you just have to look at them and go, oh, you know, I really don't know. that. That's different. And you walk away and you go over to the people that you do know. Yeah. And that do give a shit. And then, but if there's nobody, oh, fuck everybody. Fuck them all and go to the gay and lesbian center and make friends. I'm telling you, right? If everybody's shitting on you, it's a concerted effort. They're doing it on purpose. They all hate gay people. They all hate trans people. They all hate black people. They all hate Asian people. If that's what's going on in your family, you better fucking deuces. You know what I mean? Get the fuck out of there. You cannot be around that. You cannot. <laughs> Seriously, this is going to push people to jump off a bridge. This is to, 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 OD, to push these people there. Don't let them do that to you because they will try. They will try. Do you want another coffee? This no. coffee is really good. It is really good. I don't. What? You I don't, don't like coffee? I don't think you should have any more coffee, Delta. I haven't had any Diet Coke. I haven't had any Coke Zero. I haven't had any throat burning oh, Sprite. Oh, we're not even going to talk about the Coke Zero Diet Coke situation. We should door dash McDonald's. Oh. That's what we should do. I don't have a door dash. I have door dash. But we are at a really expensive, I'm luxurious studio. Put it on the, put it on, just call someone. I'm suggesting that if I signed up for a DoorDash, I'm sure I can get like 15% off. If we make a noise, they'll come running in here. And then no, we'll they say, won't. Yeah, put it on the studio. Tell the studio head to pay for it. We want McDonald's and we want it now. Fries, no older than 90 seconds. <laughs> Sprite, no smaller than large. We want it to burn our throats. That's that is what my, we like. That's the only time I have Sprite is at McDonald's. It's, yeah, that's the only place. It's so good. Do you remember Slice? Yes. Whatever happened to Slice? Why did Slice become Sierra Mist? I don't know, but Squirt still exists. Squirt is good. Do you like Fresca? 
I do like Fresca, but I prefer Squirt. Oh, Squirt all the way. Grapefruit. Mm -hmm. All the way. All the way. Squirt, Squirt. When are you going to come back and do the podcast again? I'll have different coffees. I don't know. Anytime. Yeah? I mean, anytime. I'm glad you came. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having You're me. You're my dear friend. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of? What do you mean kind of? You're very, you are very juju. I just feel like I am very juju. Juju. I am very, I'm, I'm also the queen of hearts. <laughs> are you the queen of hearts? Well, that's. I host a podcast called Queen of Hearts, and oh I help people gosh, find love. Oh my gosh, that's right. I well, help people find love. <clears throat> did you know that um, I didn't know that you had that podcast until... Yesterday. No, last spring, we were doing la- like commercial reads. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So you know how you get your like, stuff to read. And, and was, was mine one of them? Yes. And oh it was my like, gosh, it's awesome. And, and the card was there, and I was like, follow Queen Jujube, the Queen of Hearts, for her new talk show where two people find love. Or I don't know what the fuck I said. <laughs> But, and I was that. like looking at like Dipper or somebody and I was like, Juju has a new podcast? Yeah. I haven't have heard that from Juju, but I'm excited about it. Are you still doing it? Yeah, yeah. Season two actually comes out. It Well, this is in November, right? Uh-huh. Season two just came out um, October 18th. You nice. listen to it everywhere. We're in New York this time. It's, oh. It's cool because like the first season we were in LA and finding love in LA is way different than finding love in New York because... Mm-hmm. Uh, You'll you'll see. I I try. I oh help this. So I help somebody who's a breakup coach find love. Oh, and that's really interesting. How are you going to edit this episode? What did we talk about? We talked about cheese, blue cheese, cats, cats. Go! Oh my gourd! Oh my gourd! No no no! Yas gourd! Y- yas gourd! Like say it three different ways. Like the way you would say. Like if you were auditioning. Okay. Yes, Gord. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> yes, Gord. Yes, Gord. Oh, I like those. Okay, I'm going to do three. I'm going to do two. I only have two in me. Yes, Gord. I hate that. Oh, yes, Gord. I hate that too. I know, but those are like laganja y. Like, I love laganja. Of course, I love laganja. I love laganja. Yeah. Again, thank you for being here. Do you, when you say that, do you want me to like get up and physically leave? I, I, you've I, said, I she no, said it like three escorted. times, guys. You'll be escorted. You'll oh. be escorted. Are you calling me an escort? You're uh, you are an escort. Are a you hooker? a lady of negotiable affections? It, have you been? I I have been, but it's it's one of those things when I have treats in my hands. Right, my cats are always there. You do what you got to do. And I tell them to sit, and they sit down. What and, about you, pussy cat? Do you sit when you're told to sit? No, I keep no. standing until I'm told to stand, and then I sit. Can you make a fart noise? <laughs> no one's done it that way. That's the traditional silent but deadly. That's a <laughs> yeah. It's that's like a, a it's like a little like instrument. That's a garlicky one. It's very <laughs> parmigiani. <laughs> <laughs> that one's yeah. That one's a bit guttural in a way. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Like a. <laughs> Ooh, that's silent, but that stinks. That stinks like fuck. Thank you all for listening to Very Delta with a special hello. How? I want you to just keep layering them. And a special hello to everyone watching the talk show on YouTube. Just keep going, keep going. I'm going to see if I can get through this. Very Delta comes out every Monday right here on the Very That podcast feed and on the Mom Podcast YouTube channel. Very Delta comes out every Monday right here on the Very Delta podcast feed and on the Mom Podcast YouTube uh. channel. <laughs> also. 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 Also, yes. No, also. Boo. Huh? <laughs> Wait, but why was that like a little, like, like a band, like, warming I, up? I would imagine that's what, like, a horse's fart would say. Kind of like, just like a. <laughs> like it's almost bark. I feel like a Clydesdale would have like a massive fart. It's almost barkish, like a pony, a pony fart. Have you like, ever surprised Bark. yourself when you farted and you were like, "Oh wow, whoa, okay"? Like I don't like to gamble with uh-huh. farts. Like I feel like if I know it's gonna be like a real fart, then I'll let it happen. But if I'm questioning it, mm, yeah, it's a bad gamble. You can't gamble because you never know what's gonna happen. You don't know. Do you think I have TB? I don't know, but I'm protected from that. You're so, so unprotected, fine. though. I mean, I'm so unprotected. <laughs> Hi, Autumn. Love, Autumn. Goodbye. Also, Autumn. Good. Hi. No. Also, you know what's very Delta? What's very Delta? Subscribing to Mom Podcast so you don't miss an episode. 
Uh-huh. I'll do that right now. If you have any questions about cowl necks, uh, turtlenecks, volumizing conditioner, uh, any questions like that, you can send them to me at readmedelta at gmail.com. Juju might be back uh, to answer some of these questions, or somebody might be here. Um, you can also follow me, uh, Delta Work, on Instagram. Um, and then where can people find you on social media? Uh, in- uh, Instagram, Jujubee Online. I'm on Twitter, Juju Boston. Just go to jujubeeonline.com. Just Which do one that. do you use the most? Instagram. Instagram. It's easier. It is easier. You don't really have to talk. Right. Right? Do you have somebody else run your shit or you run your shit? I, I, I try to run it. Yeah. I don't read anything, though. Oh, because sometimes that's it's why mean. I'm bad. On, that's why I'm bad on TikTok. I yeah. love TikTok. I love the idea of TikTok. Yeah. I love all of the people who provide content. Yeah, but I feel I'm really bad, bad at that too. Because I can't. I don't comment because mm-hmm. I feel like. Also, too, I don't have much of a presence on there. So because I don't, people are like, "Oh, Dick, why are you using that name?" Like, yeah. like no, it's me though. Like, it's me. You're like, guys, it's me. You guys, it's really me. That's fucking embarrassing. To like get verified already, Delta. <laughs> Join me next week right here. But until then, keep things very Delta. See, I can't do it the way you do it. It's more, there's something about it that's like a trombone in a way. I like it. It, it makes it not it's gross. Cute. It it's makes it not like, gross. It's very like, oh, excuse me. Excuse uh-huh. Me. Like it's a two. It's a two. <laughs> like, oh, I tooted, you know? Yeah. It's not, it's not aggressive. It's like a kit. I'd imagine if a kitten was going to fart like that, it'd be like, Aww. I think so. Like, you, oh, your tummy hurts. <laughs> like, oh. But otherwise, it's like, you pig. <laughs> you fucking farting in here, gross ass. <laughs> right. To listen to Very Delta one day early and ad free, sign up for Mom Plus at mompodcasts.plus. Very Delta is produced by Moguls of Media, a.k.a. Mom. Hosted by Delta Work and produced by Mark Jacobs. Engineered by Margot Padilla and editing by Doug Robertson. Executive produced by Willem Belli, Alaska Thunderfuck, Big Dipper, and Joe Cilio. 